Hello, this is Alex Steele with Mod Shapes, and today I'm going to be talking about my Hackintosh build. And in this video, I'm joined by Sydney Shackleford, artist and advocate, and also uh, actress. And she's going to be talking through a lot of the tech stuff. So we're just going to jump in and just start talking about the build itself, and uh, here we go. So first, the motherboard. Uh, we chose a Gigabyte Z170MX Gaming 5 motherboard. It's a socket 1151 for an Intel i7. It's got Serial IT Express, it's got a dual PCI Express, and there's all kinds of fun things on it. We have two sets of dual channel DDR4 DIMMs, and this motherboard can handle up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Our build, we have two 16 gigabytes so we're gonna have 32 on this particular build with it being expandable to 64. Um, it's a really nice little motherboard it's got built-in video but we're not gonna be using it because we're gonna be using a GPU based video card but it does have uh, the new USB-C um, and it also has USB 2.0 and 3.0 and all kinds of audio although we probably won't use audio because we have a Bose uh, audio system so we'll be connecting this too. It also has tons and tons of silly ATA ports. You get six drives you can connect directly to the motherboard. And it does have software RAID, but we're not going to use any of that uh, on a Hackintosh build. Uh, right now, Newegg is the only distributor in the US. Um, but it's a very, very nice um, case, stainless steel. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, what's nice and unique about it is it actually has a side CD-ROM slot. The other unusual features of this is the power supply gets mounted on the bottom. It has this little cord that feeds through to the back, which is kind of unique. Um, so you have your slots and all your ports going for the motherboard here. It also has a filter on top. Great when you got cats like we do. And also it has um, two USB 3.0 ports on. <laughs> uh, Corsair makes wonderful power supplies, very high quality. Yeah. We'll have to break yeah, there's some really nice cables it comes with. And what I like about them is that they're all are modular. You know, it's, it's the, uh, so if you don't have that many drives, you don't have all these extra cables dangling around. You only need to plug in what you need. The next thing is the EV, EVGA GeForce GTX 950. Um, it's a, it takes up two slots and it's got a, it's a nice big heat sink for the GPU. Uh, it requires a separate power supply and um, a power connection because the PCI bus is not, there's only limits to 65 watts. So the processor we chose an Intel Core i7. Um, 6700K, which fits on the 1151 socket LGA. It's a Crucial MX200 SSD. Um, I like Crucial. I have one in my old Hackintosh that's six years old. The drive isn't that old, but the build is otherwise. And I really like these drives. They're very fast. Uh, trim gets supported almost out of the box. Um, I really like them. They really, really, really work well. The CD-ROM drive that goes in this case. And there's two different sizes. There's nine millimeter thickness and 12. Fortunately, the nine millimeter one is easier one to find and that's what this case uses. All because we need it for this case. And um, they make great heat sinks and, uh, really big and very quiet. It's a very quiet fan. Step one, open the case and remove the drive tray.
Okay, one complaint about this piece is the screw is a little tight. Yeah. But once you get them loose, it's fine. You want to hold that up for me? Let's put this up. Okay. Now you got to remember on this one, the little grommets, the smooth side goes out. So on the out. little grommets, the smooth side? Well, you have the grommets on both sides. Well, well, this is easy to remember because there's a lip that goes against the case. Yes, yeah, that's even better, you're right. Okay, so put this off to the side for now. That goes in back in last. So now we have all these connectors. We have, looks like, the audio connector. This is... USB, looks like. Okay, so that's power supply. So basically, it's going to go in like this. That's pretty much how it's going to go in. Okay. And this cable is going to go in like that. Let's Put the back plate in for the uh, heat sink and CPU. That was a little tricky getting it all together. And so now we're gonna put the CPU in. Okay. okay. This is the exciting part. Right. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> can I do this or no? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So remove this part. Okay, now now that's the tricky part. You gotta make sure you put in the right orientation and no static charge on this. So be very careful. Yes. Ground, grounding self. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so the chip here, pretty little thing, isn't it? If you look in the on the board, you'd see how it lines out. Oh, I don't like this at all. I, I, I need to be closer to a ground source. I'm afraid I'm going to touch it. Okay. Um, I'm just going to watch then. Okay, just watch. Okay, basically, it goes in this orientation here. Okay. And how you can tell is, see a little, see a little, see a little clip, the little angle thing that matches that? Yes. See that? And that matches up. So once it matches up, just slide in there. You only go in one way, can't go any other way. Okay. It goes in just like that. And then once it's done, you just close it. Sydney is now pre-positioning the fan to kind of see how it's going to line up prior to using the adhesive and fastening it down permanently. Can I spread it around? It's like making a cake. It's like icing a cake. Good connectivity. 
Oh, yes, plenty in here. And I'm definitely glad I wore the gloves. So, folks, wear your gloves when you're doing this. One side's a little longer than the other. That's normal. like a little harmonicas. They do, don't <laughs> they? They do look like harmonicas, you're right. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, just push them on evenly. There you go. Nice. And voila, 32 gig of RAM. Okay, so we're starting to look like a computer here. We got memory, we got CPU, now we need power in a case and a drive and a little luck.